The thing is, people say, how do I surrender to God's will? Or should I use my free will? Because God says we have free will. Free will is to know what's right and what's wrong, to choose it, you know? To choose freedom is like this. Choose God's way, <laughs> okay? It's better for you. <laughs> but if you want to choose the other way, that will be trouble. And then in the end, you have to return to this way anyhow. It's just longer, more trouble. So you might as well just choose God's will in the beginning. God doesn't stop you if you choose the opposite direction. It's just that it takes you longer, makes you suffer. At the end, you will have to surrender, go back, and it's far. Yeah? That's it. So there's no free will, believe me. Believe me. No free will. There is a free will, of course. Before you come here, you choose. Huh? You say, okay, I'm going to serve God. I'm going to experiment uh, the opposite of God so that I might know God. Just like I want to uh, have the night so that I recognize the daytime. Things like that. But then at the end, you recognize the daytime anyhow. You go back to the daytime. You choose the darkness so that you know the light. Yeah? So that's the free will. Uh, the free will to exercise what you want to exercise in order to go back to the light the way you want it. So might as well go now. If you have a lot of time and you have a lot of energy and you want to hang around and mess about, then choose the opposite direction. God doesn't say anything. But I don't think there's a free will. Because in the end, we will have to return to where we were. Anyhow, so what kind of free will is that? Just like the least of the dog only, longer or shorter. <laughs> right? Longer or shorter. 